Today I want to talk about keying in entries provided by your CPA. These could be entries that are pr provided to you each month after a financial statement review or by your auditor at the end of your auditing period or your annual period. And what I like to do is to be able to identify that these entries did indeed come from our CPA. So to do this, what I'm going to do is click on the Administration tab and under Setup and Posting, I will choose Source Document. And then I'll key in a source document. And I'm going to just enter in CPA and identify that these are entries that came from my CPA. And then I'll click Save. So now I have a source document set up for CPA. So let's go into the financial series. And under Transaction in General, I'll start keying in my new entry. But what I'm going to do when I get down to source document is perform a lookup and I'll be able to find this new entry called CPA. So now I can come in and enter in my entries. And this will denote that these entries did indeed come from a CPA. So I'm just going to find a prepaid insurance, key that in, and then find the insurance. and I'll go ahead and post this entry. Let me close that out and cancel my posting reports. Now I have my transactions available to be reviewed by using that source document. I'm going to go into Smart List, Financial, Account Transactions. I'll choose this object called CPA Entry I've created. Make sure I'm looking at the correct year. And I'm going to change the source document is equal to CPA. And now I should be able to find the entry that I just created, and there it is. So this is a great way to identify that these entries came from your CPA, even though they were entered in by one of your team members. I hope this helps. Thanks.